Well, hey folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. As I'm sure the video gave it away, this is learning how to create a uh, virtual environment for programming Python. Now, why do we do this? Basically, what we're doing is we're creating a, a folder with all of the programming applications and add-ons that we need inside this folder for the actual application that we're designing. What that also helps to do is isolates the program that we're building away from the rest of the system, rest of the operating system, because we're building it in a virtual structure. All right, so we're going to do this. Let's go to the computer, and we're at the command prompt. I like using the command prompt uh, for programming because the workflow is really just very simplistic. Now, it is a little different than when you're using either um, a Mac or when you're using a Linux computer. That's why I wanted to show you on Windows 10. I've been teaching a lot of students this on programming, so I wanted to bring this to, to the masses here on the Jack's uh, Tech Corner uh, videos. So we're at the C prompt. The first thing we're going to do is type DIR and enter. You're going to look at the folder structure here. These are all just folders like if you were in my computer and you would see them on, in your file manager. Now, if you don't have a program uh, or a folder in here, I'm sorry, called programming, if you can see that here, you're going to create that. So to clear the screen, type CLS, enter. That will clear this, the, the command prompt screen. All you'll do is type MKDIR space programming. P-R-O-G-R-A-M-M-I-N-G. Now, mine is already created, so when I hit enter, it's going to tell me that the subdirectory or file programming already exists. All right, fine. Now, yours probably worked fine, and you probably now have a new folder called programming. To make sure you have that file folder that we need, type in DIR, which is directory structure again, hit enter, and make sure now that you see the folder in there called programming. All right, very simplistic. So next up, we're going to clear the screen again, CLS, and we're going to do change directory, CD, to programming and enter. Hello? Hello? Hold on, let me see if I can pause this. Okay, now that we're into the programming folder, do a DIR once again, and you'll see in here where we have a folder called class. Okay, and a folder called Python. So we're going to set up a virtual environment now, but we're going to call this one um, New Project. Okay, so type CLS. The first thing I want you to do, though, is to make sure you have Python installed. So to do that, just type Python, enter. You should have something to come back like this. It says I have Python 3.8.5 installed on this computer. If I do a Control Z, and then enter, I can get out of the Python interpreter because you're inside the interpreter. All right, CLS once again to clear the screen. So now let's go ahead and set up that virtual environment that we need to start building our application. So to do this, we're just going to simply type Python space dash M space and then V E N V. Okay, stands for virtual environment. V, E, N, V, space, and then the folder that you want everything contained inside of, okay, or the directory that we're building this for. So I said we're going to make it new project. You can call this whatever you want. This is just what I'm using right now, new project, and enter. And it will take a few seconds, but it's building the, the, the folder structure with all of the files we need in there, all the programming environment, the Python in there with pip, uh, we'll talk about PIP down the road later on uh, for installing packages. It's a package management tool. All right, so now we have, we're have we back to the command prompt. And a lot of my students say, well, wait, it didn't do anything. Well, let's see if it did. So let's go ahead and type DIR, and your new folder or your directory should be in here. See, mine's called New Project. Now, once we're going to do this is we're going to change directory and go into that folder, CD, space, new project, enter. Now you can see we're inside that folder. 
if we did a DIR, you can see that it built a lot of different files in there, right? There's a, a P, virtual environment config file, there's script folder, there's a lib folder, and an include folder. This is why I wanted to show you on a Windows 10 machine. If you're doing this on a Mac, or if you do this on a Linux machine, you'll have what's called a bin folder, B-I-N. That is where all the scripts are contained in, is in that bin folder. But on Windows, it's called scripts. Let's do CLS to clear the screen. Now, you're going to launch your Video Studio, your VS Code, Visual Studio Code, right? We're going to launch it from the command prompt. And the reason I'm going to do this, because now I know I'm already in that folder, so I'm in my virtual environment that I want to be in. So all I do is type code, space, period, enter. You can see where that launches VS Code. Great. We have everything ready to go. The only thing we have to do now is activate this new environment so that VS Code knows that we're working in a virtual environment. We're not just working in VS Code. Does that make sense? I hope so. All right. So to do that, go up and click on Terminal, New Terminal. And I told you the files that we have to activate are in the scripts folder. You see where it says activate, activate bat. There's an activate PowerShell script. We're just going to use the activate is what we're going to run in here. But you can also see where it put in here pip, put in here our Python, our interpreter. So everything is contained inside that virtual environment. It's very good practice whenever you're writing Python code to build a virtual environment first. It's just a very good way to do things. Now remember I told you on Mac or on a Linux computer, you'll see up here it'll be bin. So you'll be inside of a bin folder. All right. So here at the command prompt, again, now we're just on the terminal. And if you see the PSR, we're in PowerShell. So it's a PowerShell so we can run scripts. So let's type change directory, CD, space, scripts. Enter. Now you'll see we're in scripts. Okay, so we're in the folder right up here. We're inside this folder, scripts. Once you're in there, all you got to do is type period with a forward slash activate and then enter. Once it is activated, the way that we know it's now activated, look at the front of your PowerShell uh, prompt here. It says now that we're in the virtual environment, new project or whatever you called it. All right, that's how we know we're in there. Once you're there, I would suggest to go over Click on the screen on the left here, and then click on New File. New File. And then give this a name. It doesn't really matter. You can call it whatever. Um, I'll call it new.py. PY indicates that you're telling Python, or you're telling Visual Studio that you're going to be writing in Python. Hit Enter. And what you're going to see down here at the bottom is, it's going to say Python, virtual, virtual. Okay, so it knows we're in a virtual environment. It knows we're, what version of Python we're running. But what's also going to tell you every time you create a virtual environment is, you're going to get messages over here for adding on add-ons. Okay, so it says we have no um, test framework configured. Okay, so for debugging. So configure the test framework. I click on that. We're going to use PyTest. PY test, hit that, and hit enter for the root directory. And what that's going to do is actually install that debugger for us, PyTest. All right. So again, click on configure, PyTest, root directory. All right. And that will actually put that in there so you're ready to do your debugging with PyTest. All right. So I hope this video helped you out and I hope that you're able to uh, get along and do a, a very, uh, or work <laughs> extremely well in virtual environments. I think it's very important, like I said, to work in virtual environments. Every time you're going to build a new project in VS Code and you're using Python, always build those virtual environments. It's key to keeping your code nice together and clean. All right and kind of sandboxed, I guess. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, and I hope that I'll bring you more uh, programming tutorials down the road here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, right now, I'm working on a very large package in uh, PHP code. So I'm doing a large web project, and I'm writing that, like I said, primarily in all PHP. So um, I don't know how much I'll bring that in for you, but if you think that's a good idea, throw it in the comments below and let me know. Say, hey, anything you can help me in PHP or Python, I'll be uh, happy to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching this edition of Jack's Tech Corner. And remember, just keep editing, keep coding, keep clicking away. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now, everybody.